was right. I'm too hungry not to get that win, but I just gotta remember one thing. One thing. Gotta keep my head up, never get that low, cause I'm living this life, now it's all I know. Like, oh, it's the life I chose. Welcome everyone to Wednesday Night Smackdown here in Cohasset, Massachusetts. I am boy one 2 3 Jim. Hit the like button, subscribe for more. Two likes on this video. Monday Night Raw Universe Mode episode will be uploaded tomorrow. Follow me on Twitter at boy one 2 3 Jim. Hope you guys will enjoy tonight's show. Let's get our matches underway as we have a six man over the top row battle royale. We have The Rock, Roman Reigns, Dolph Ziggler, the United States Champion Tyler Breeze, and Edge. And also Daniel Bryan, who will face Brock Lesnar at Unforgiven inside a steel cage. We're going to find that out as that will be our first match of the night. Also, six-man tag team match. Neville also is against all three members of the Alliance. He played her both Dallas and Curtis Axel. Hey, this is going to be a great six-man tag team match. I can't wait for it. And also our main event, the Beast will be in action. Brock Lesnar wants to compete, and he's gonna go. He's gonna go up against Big Show in our main event. Here we go. Let's begin SmackDown with the Battle Royale. As we are in Cohasset, Massachusetts, and here comes one half of the World Tag Team Champions, the Rated R Superstar Edge. The rated R superstar. One after the World Tag Team Champions with his partner Christian. Looking forward to being in this matchup. As Edge has an opportunity, just like all the other five competitors in this match. Here comes the great one, the man who defeated Brock Lesnar a couple of months ago. On SmackDown. Have you ever heard anything like this? This is I would say about two months ago, The Rock defeated Brock Lesnar on that one episode on SmackDown. When Brock Lesnar went crazy and punched uh, the referee. And the reason why Brock Lesnar is competing tonight because he wants to. He said it himself. He said he wants to compete. He wants to uh, take someone to Suplex City, and we were able to find an opponent for him, and the Big Show was the one. Big Show wanted no revenge from uh, a couple of weeks, uh, a couple of months back on SmackDown when Brock Lesnar took Bro uh, Big Show to Suplex City the first time. But I think maybe The Rock has a chance of winning this battle royale. Because he defeated Lesnar on SmackDown not too long ago. He defeated Batista, I would say, two, three weeks ago on SmackDown. The Rock's kind of on a little momentum. And here it comes. Well, I thought he'd be a U.S. champ, but I don't see the title around him. I guess Tyler Breeze will, uh, will not show us. What championship he has. I assume. That's why I said earlier. I called him the US champ. Because I assume. He brought it back. But I don't see it. But maybe. Maybe. We might see it. Uh, next week. And there it comes. The guy that Dolph Ziggler. That Tyler Breeze hates. Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler, a former two-time world heavyweight champion in his own right. Multi-time, a former Intercontinental champion, former United States champion, one of the longest, I feel, I believe, longest reigning United States champion on SmackDown. Held the belt from WrestleMania from June, from April all the way to July before losing the title to Tyler Breeze. 
And here comes everybody's favorite superstar, Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan, former four-time world champion in the past, Intercontinental United States champion. But Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan has been in a, the, a, a sloppy situation, if you will. I mean, Daniel Bryan hasn't won major matches. He had a match against Sami Zayn for the television title. Was was not successful. Competing in a, in a number one contenders match multiple times. Was never the one to win it. Daniel Bryan's always the guy that comes close, but never, ever succeeds. And there comes... The former world heavyweight champion, Roman Reigns. The guy that had never done anything for the past year. All of a sudden, winning a battle royale months ago. Defeated Booker T at Battleground and became world champion. As Roman Reigns. Looks at his opponents. Looks at the crowd here in Cohasset, Massachusetts. As Roman Reigns appears to be in, is in this match. Who will face the Beast in a steel cage at Unforgiven in Anaheim, California? Well, when they kick off SmackDown. But I'm gonna, but yeah, who's gonna face Brock Lesnar for the World Heavyweight Championship? We're gonna find out right after this little short break. As we're back here on SmackDown, Dolph Ziggler hanging off for dear life. And The Rock, The Rock has hands, going for a scoop, and no, get DDT counter. Back on SmackDown here in Clawson, Massachusetts. As you guys can see, obviously, Roman Reigns, Tyler Breeze, and Daniel Bryan has been eliminated. But Roman Reigns was the first one to be eliminated in the match. And The Rock hang on for dear life. The final three. Edge, Dolph Ziggler, The Rock. One of these men have a huge opportunity. I'm surprised The Rock even lasted this long. I mean, The Rock has won big matches before. And well, recently actually. Defeated Curtis Axel to be in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Defeated Brock Lesnar on SmackDown. Edge hanging on for dear life on the bottom row. Dolph Ziggler looking to eliminate Edge. And Edge is eliminated. One half of the World Tag Team Champions is eliminated. And now the Rock off Dolph Ziggler. Rock off Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler hanging on for dear life. The Rock. The Rock. Don't tell me. The Rock is going to Unforgiven. The Rock has defeated every man in this battle royale. The Rock is the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. Oh my god, look at this. The final the final parts of this match. Dolph Ziggler eliminates Edge. Edge was all shocked and kind of furious. And it's Dolph Ziggler on the bottom rope in the same position. And The Rock eliminates Edge. The Rock is going to Anaheim, California to compete against the World Heavyweight Champion. Brock Lesnar inside a steel cage. Oh my. Wow, but ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, the Ascension goes up against Los Mandores. The Los Mandores debut next here on SmackDown. As we're back here on SmackDown, we've tried to regroup after that battle royale. The Rock is going to fight Brock Lesnar. It is the first time since SummerSlam 2002 that The Rock and Brock Lesnar will meet at a pay-per-view, but it's going to be inside a steel cage for the World Heavyweight Championship, and it's the main event of Unforgiven. But as we shift gears, the Ascension in the ring, former longest reigning NXT Tag Team Champions back in NXT years ago. And now they go up against the debut of Los Matadores. I can't roll my R's, so don't be spamming me in the comments. And their opponents, Los Matadores make their official Universe Mode. Debut here in WWE. The They're exclusive to SmackDown. 
Cause I can't wait to see what these guys are about. They go up against Victor and Connor. I would like to see what what they can do so I can actually say that maybe they have a future or not in WWE. But here we go, a matchup is gonna get underway. Connor will start the match against I believe that's Fernando. Well they look the same, but I can't really tell who's Fernando or who's Diego. But I assume that's Fernando. As uh, Fernando, shot off the shot on Victor, Irish whip, Victor off the ropes, goes Victor in a nice reverse elbow to the face. Now we got a little fun in the ring there, as a little kick to the, to the thigh there. And another kick, and a backhand chop, sorry, Irish whip. Oh, try to lower the rope, does Diego, I believe, but no avail, and now Fernando, Huracarana. Karana by Fernando onto Victor. Victor's kind of reeling in this match. The uh, as the um, oh wait, oh shot to the face to um, to Victor. And now Fernando up top. Oh, Connor knocking down Fernando. And now Connor messing around with the with the turnbuckle. Goes for the cover. Shoulders are down. Will it be already? And a kick out. We're going to take a commercial. We're going to take a short break, actually, as uh, SmackDown continues. That's where we're back here on SmackDown as uh, Fernando in control. And now, uh, oh, a nice, a nice suplex. And that moves out by Diego. And now, Fernando is going to set up for something here. Oh, wait. And now, there's something else in mind. Diego just hit a moonsault onto Connor, and then a leg drop, leg drop, cover, will that do it, shoulders are down, will it be, two count, a kick out of two, early kick out at two, does Connor, and now, oh, Connor with a nice uppercut, kicked in the midsection by uh, Fernando, I was stripping to the corner, and now, oh, makes the tag, and now here we go, they have something in mind, double team, here we go. What? Oh, nice double team. Innovation there. Innovative move there. And a double axe handle by Fernando. Diego goes for the cover. And they get the win. Los Matadores is successful here tonight. As we look back in the match during the commercial break, nice leg sweep there. And then he went for the cover, but Connor kicked out at two. Off of Alexi, and then right there, Diego hit the moonsault. But then Fernando decided to go for uh, the leg drop from the top. As you can see right here, boom! Nice, picture perfect leg drop from the top. Went for the cover. Early kick out of two, does Connor. And then right here, tag team. Tag team maneuver. So that's innovative. It was like a it was like it was a nice innovative maneuver by both men right there, dropping Connor, and then the Fernando that's double it. axe and handle taking out Victor, matchup. and they're able to get the win and lost Menador successful here tonight. I can see these guys maybe going after the tag team championships in the future maybe for, but for right now they gotta go through a lot of people to get that tag team title shot but what a match between uh the ascension and uh los manadores but coming up next summer ray goes up against the debut of becky lynch here on smackdown in cohasson massachusetts and it's next as we are back on smackdown in cohasson massachusetts four one to three gym still calling all the action as Summer Rae, former longest reigning women's champion here on SmackDown. Already on the ring apron. Going up against the debut of Becky Lynch. Another uh, female wrestler that wrestled all over the world. And also in NXT in the past. Never won the NXT Women's Championship. Came so close, but she able to make her debut gonna make her debut here tonight right now and there she is Belfast, Ireland, Betty 
wrestled all over the I wrestled all over the world, places like Canada, in her own place in uh, in uh, Dublin, Ireland. It, all over the world and stuff and now she's made it here to SmackDown as we're gonna get this match up in the way but we're gonna get it underway we're gonna come back to this match right after this as we're back here on SmackDown and oh Becky Lynch dropping some Ray and a double knees to the left arm as Summer Rae and Becky Lynch having a great match so far kicks it by both as my microphone cut off by accident but here we go as uh, we continue here on SmackDown. Oh, I was oh, wait, counter. Wait, Summer Rae boot to the face onto Becky Lynch. And she, oh, wait, Summer Rae going for the cover. Shoots the half, shoulders it down, form in the face. Will it put away Becky Lynch here? The kick out of two. Becky Lynch almost, uh, almost slipped there. Almost got caught slipping, but Summer Rae. Oh, wait, Becky Lynch shot to the back of the leg. Left, left jab there, and a Lynch to the, the face in the throw of Summer Ray. And now Becky Lynch. Ray. Oh, look at the stall, oh, man! Alley oop bomb from the seated position in the corner, and oh, Summer Ray blocked a kick to the face by, but by Becky Lynch there, and oh, Becky Lynch with a counter attacking the left arm again, and now oh, stop to the arm. Does Becky Lynch calls herself the last kicker? And now Becky, oh, short arm clothesline. Oh, got her again. And then a short arm clothesline. And now Becky Lynch. Three to oh, well, three short arm clotheslines there. And now Lynch has something in mind. Look at the go for something here. Oh wait, Summer knee in the face. In the face there by Summer Ray. And now Ray. Oh, wait. Elbow to the face, does Becky Lynch. Now, Lynch. 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 Lynch setting up for something. Oh, that's the call of the calf crusher. No way. Summer Ray was at the ropes. Her long leg was at the ropes. But that's called the calf. The calf killer or the calf crusher? I can't really tell. I can't. I don't really know exactly, but. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Summer Ray in trouble. Disarmer. She got the she got in the disarmer. That is called the disarmer. An arm bar that can put you away. It's Becky Lynch. Looking to put Summer Ray out. Oh, uh, Summer Ray taps out. Summer Ray taps out. To the disarmer. Oh, Becky Lynch. Happy. Able to get the win in her first match of the of, on SmackDown. Oh, those WWE competitors tore this it's Summer Ray. During the commercial break was kind of in control, as you guys just saw that leg drop from on the chest, dropping Becky Lynch, and then went for a cover, trying to get away from the ropes, and then Becky Lynch was able to kick at it too. That's formed there by Summer, and then Becky Lynch with a with a nice counter, and then Lynch right here got Summer, and then tossed her. Nice T-bone suplex. Or a different version of a T-bone suplex, more like a pump handle suplex, and some are able to kick at it too. And then right here, as we came back from commercial break, kicked to the bit section by Summer, and then Summer right here, boot to the mush of Becky Lynch. Shoot the half, went for the cover, form in the face, shoulders were down, but then able to kick at it too. And then right here into the Summer, Summer Ray trying to fight it off. She tried to survive for the longest time, but she had to tap out due to the ex to, due to the excruciating pain of the disarmor. But Becky Lynch, her first win on her first match here on our debut on SmackDown. If Becky Lynch celebrates here in Cohasset, Massachusetts, but we got to move on because coming up next we have six men. Tag team action coming our way. Usos, Neville against the Alliance. Curtis Axel, Heath Slater, and Bo Dallas. This might be a good one or might be a fail. Who knows? We're going to find that out next. As we're back here on SmackDown with the Usos making their grand entrance.
Usos, former tag team champions in the past. Looking to uh, start getting some wins here. When they're on Monday Night Raw, they're in the same position as they are now here. You're on SmackDown. But uh, they're going to be in the six-man tag, teaming up with Neville. And here comes the man that gravity forgot. This used to be, this was a title for RVD, but I, I would consider him a human highlight reel. It's actually been a while since we've seen Neville here on SmackDown. I believe the last time we saw Neville was when he uh, competed against Sami Zayn for the television championship at the time. I mean, I'm pretty sure he wasn't gone that long, but that's all. That's what I can remember. That's Usos and Neville. Going up against the Alliance. And here they are, the Alliance. Bullet out is Curtis Axel and Heath Slater. Curtis Axel and the inspirational Bo Dallas. The Alliance. The one these guys are called the Alliance, to what I know, is because, well, they're all different. They don't have the same mindset as a lot of factions do. Like, like the Wyatt family, for example, you know? They they they're all they they're all kind of different, but they're able to uh, sometimes team up, and maybe tonight could be their night to get some wins. Six man tag. We're gonna be right back after this. And we're back here on SmackDown. Kick to the midsection by Neville. Here it goes to Madison. Chelsea and then a reverse Hurricanrana by Neville. What a reverse Hurricanrana by Neville. And now Neville over the top. And now onto the top rope. Axel has something in mind, but no, never with a nice moonsault. Onto the back, the spine of Bo Dallas. And now Neville looking to set it up here. Neville up top. Neville up top. Neville, red arrow, red arrow. And now the referee's distracted. Wait a minute, cover. Soldiers are down. Will it be? Oh, and a kick out of two of those Dallas. And now. Neville goes for the cover again, but Axel stops it this time. You know, tribute Jay Uso actually taking out Axel outside the ring. And now, reverse DDT by Neville. It's Jimmy Uso taking out Heath Slater. A lot of chaos going on in this match. But now, and now Neville has has Dallas. With a nice super, with a nice power bomb. Sorry, two cow. He got him though on the kick out of two. Man, almost had him there. And another going up top. Never going up top. Bo Dallas. Dallas has Neville. Has him up top. And now Neville in trouble. Dallas looking to go for a superplex. As Neville. Wait a minute. Oh, superplex. That's Bo Dallas onto Neville. And now. Dallas followed up with that nice maneuver. Attacking the head and neck area. Never getting up to his feet. Shot to the face. Tremendous six man tag. A lot of a lot of action going on. Kicks to the to the leg, to the thigh there. And now Neville has something in mind. Iris flipping to the corner. Wait, rebound. Uppercut by Neville. And now Neville. Oh, Neville looking to go for something here, but but uh, Dallas with him and Neville again reverse Hurricanrana, reverse Hurricanrana by Adrian Neville, former NXT champion, the man that defeated Bo Dallas and NXT arrival years ago. Cover hooks the leg and a kick at it too. Defeated Bo Dallas in a ladder match for the NXT championship. The negative to win the NXT arrival. Was on the WWE Network. That's when WWE Network launched at the time. 
as Dallas with a nice Northern Light suplex. Referee distracted by Jay Uso. And Bull Dazzler! The Bull Dazzler! Bull Dazzler! Jimmy Uso! Taking out Heath Slater. Cover, cover, cover. Two count. And uh, the Alliance get the win. The Alliance get the win here on SmackDown. Heath Slater got taken out by Jimmy Uso. But Bo Dallas able to get the win. Jay Uso was dealing with the referee, but was not able to get in the ring in time to stop it. Look at this. This was a match that was simple. Oh my god. I'm I'm, I'm speechless. I'm shocked. Look, Northern Light suplex by Dallas. And then Bo Dallas hit the Bo Dallas and get the win. The Alliance. Successful. Here tonight. This was their night. Man. What a win for the Alliance. Hope you guys enjoy. As we shift gears. Sami Zayn goes one on one with Dolph Ziggler. It's here on SmackDown. Sami Zayn needs some momentum heading in to his rematch against Tyler Breeze. Coming up next here on SmackDown. No As you're back here on SmackDown, here we go. Just, get, just want to get straight into the matchup. Sami Zayn, Dolph Ziggler, got over tie up. Zayn has Dolph Ziggler. Sami Zayn making a move, working for control. Sami Zayn has Ziggler by the arm, twerking it in the back, and now Zayn shot after shot, and now Zayn backhand chop. Zayn trying to feel, trying to get the momentum from the crowd, trying to get the uh, the blood flowing. And Zayn, nice counter neck breaker. And now Zayn, backhand chop. Irish whip off the ropes goes Ziggler and a running drop kick, single leg drop kick by Zayn. If the fans approve of that, and there we go. Backhand chop, shot again onto Ziggler. Irish whip by Zayn into another corner. Ziggler bounce off and a running drop kick. A leaping drop kick goes Zayn. Fantastic maneuver. Wait, Zayn. In trouble. Elbow shot to the midsection by Ziggler. Now Ziggler trying to get back in this match. In the early going. And now Ziggler. Lyman's carry. And now Zayn. Trying to get up. And now Zayn. Iris flip off the rope. Go Ziggler. Running, leg, running single leg drop kick. But Ziggler able to block it that time. And now a big elbow drop to the, to the chest there by Ziggler. That was shot to the face, and now Zayn with a nice uppercut. Oh, looks like he's in no man's land here. He needs to be able to put things back together here. And now Zayn got Ziggler up. Oh, a brain buster! Brain buster by Zayn. And now wait a minute, Zayn going up top. Sammy Zayn up top. Go for a splash, but Ziggler got out the way. Ziggler was able to get out the way. And now Ziggler snapmare. No way, Ziggler following it up. Oh, attacking the head and neck area. And now wait, Joel Zayn. Pushing Ziggler away from him. Yeah, but they're trying to get back in this match. And now Zayn, wait, Zayn has Ziggler for a ride. Blue Thunder Bomb. Doesn't go for the cover. I mean, that's the same move that he beat Daniel Bryan with. Wait a minute, there we go. Now he goes for the cover. Works the leg, shoulders it down. With a put Ziggler away and a kick out of two. Sammy Zayn, oh wait, Ziggler. Ziggler. Got up. Snapmare. Going for a maneuver about shots to the midsection there by Sammy Zayn. And now Zayn, I was flipping Ziggler into the corner. Zayn, hold over kick. Hold over kick connects. But wait, Zayn's going up top. What's Zayn going for here? Zayn, go for a swat top and Ziggler got out the way. Zayn did not go for the cover. I don't know why. Now Ziggler got up. Wait, oh, super kick to the face by Ziggler. Cover, hooks the leg, shoulders it down. What a put that away, kick out of two. Now the momentum starting to speed up. You know, Zayn, oh, in trouble. Zayn's in trouble. Luthez by Ziggler. Now it's all Ziggler. 
Looking to go maybe for the zigzag. That beat Tyler Breeze at the SummerSlam in Madison Square. No! Jay with a, Jay with a nice jawbreaker. Oh, wait, no. Ziggler counters the block. I mean, counters the punch. What am I saying? And a drop. Ziggler dropping Zane. And now Ziggler goes for the cover off the maneuver. Cover hooks the leg. So there's a down. Kick at it to the Zane. The momentum is picking up for both men. And now Zane. Oh, wait, Zane. Zane has something in mind. Zane. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! T Bone suplex into the corner. That beat. That beat, um. Devil on SmackDown for the television title, and they oh wait. Referee saying that was a uh, ro a rope break, a rope break there by by Ziggler. And now Zayn, Zayn out of something. Ziggler in the corner. Zayn go for it again. Hold of a kick. The hold of a kick. And now this time he goes for the cover. So there's a down. Will it be two? Zayn has beat Ziggler. What a matchup. What a matchup. Haluva kicked the first time. And right here again, another Haluva kick. And that one's the one that able to get the win for Zayn. Zayn is able, was able to get momentum heading into Unforgiven against Tyler Breeze for the championship that we don't know what Tyler Breeze will bring. What a win for Sami Zayn here on SmackDown in Cohasset, Massachusetts. Put up a hell of a fight against Dolph Ziggler, but ladies and gentlemen. Coming up next, our main event, Cohasset, Massachusetts might become Suplex City because Brock Lesnar will go one-on-one -on -one against the Big Show, world champion in action against the world's largest athlete, and it's next here in Cohasset, Massachusetts. As we're right back here on SmackDown, and here we go, it is time for our main event as the world heavyweight champion in action. Ladies and gentlemen, I would say about 72 hours ago, Brock Lesnar went one-on-one -on -one against the Animal Batista. Both men, in my opinion, tear the house down, blow the roof off the arena in Detroit this past Sunday, and not of champions. Batista kicked out out of everything that Brock Lesnar had to offer. Took Brock Lesnar to the, lim to the limit. And Lesnar gave Brock Le gave Batista that one final F5. And was able to retain the world title. And now Batista is no longer number one contender. Here comes the big show. His opponent of Brock Lesnar. As Big Show, only man to hold every championship from three companies. Big Show, the only man to hold the WCW championship back in 1995, hold the WWE championship in 1999 and 2002, and hold the ECW championship back in 2006. The only man to hold all those major championships and every other title in WWE, the United States, the Intercontinental, and the Tag Team Championships. Big Show has done it all. But the Big Show has really done is beat Brock Lesnar. But let's see if he can do it tonight. Main event time. As Brock Lesnar. Oh my god, a close line. Take it up, Big Show. Here you go in this match. Lesnar. With a, with a shot after shot. Running off the ropes. Oh, shot to the midsection by Lester. And now Lester. Here we go. German suplex. Oh, my God. Head first off to the pole, off the turnbuckle. And now Lester. And now. Oh, my God. That was huge haymaker by Lester. And a close on out to the outside goes Big Show. Lester here. Not to play around. Here to do business. Oh my god, Big Show's already on his way to Suplex City for the second time in his career. Whipped right into the steel steps. 
Big Show in trouble right now. Big Show's reeling the world. Oh, Big Show. Elbow shot to the head, but Lester getting back in, into this match. Whipping Big Show across from one side of the, of the ring to the other. And now Lesnar. Back inside the ring. Big Show's in the ring. Go, oh wait. Go for a German super. Oh no, Big Show counter with an elbow shot to the head. Kick to the midsection, just Lester. Shot again. And now Brock Lester has Big Show. Oh, oh and then a German. Second German suplex of the match. Oh my God, Lesnar. Just taking apart Big Show. There we go. Lesnar again. Third time. Three German suplexes already. And now Lesnar. Lesnar again. Fourth. Fourth German suplex. And now Lesnar. Oh, here comes Lesnar. Five. Oh, Lesnar's going to go for the Suplex City, which is the German suplexes where he does not let go. Oh, man. Goodness. I believe that's seven now. That was seven German suplexes. We're at seven as Lesnar. Look at the conference up to here. Lesnar go for a clothesline. Oh, go for the nasty clothesline. But Big Show got off the way. Shot to the face there by Lesnar. My God, those vicious shots. Lesnar with a Kamara lock on Big Show. Will Big Show tap out? Will Brock break Big Show's arm like he did to The Rock one time? Oh. Decides to let go on Big Show. Lesnar. Oh, my God. Lesnar. Playing no games with Big Show here tonight. Tossing the giant leg. Oh, wait, oh, oh my god! Lester with a shooting star press! Goes for the cover! Hooks the leg! On the Big Show! Two count! A kick at a two! Does Big Show. Last time we saw Lester do the shooting star press was back in WrestleMania 19 in Seattle, Washington in the main event against Kurt Angle. Which was a nasty incident. But oh wait, Lesnar! Ten! I believe that was 10 German suplex. No, no, wait, that was 8. That was 8 Germans. Now Lesnar, wait. Oh, Big Show counter with an elbow shot. But Lesnar got him again. 9. 9 suplexes. Bed to belly suplex by Lesnar. Lesnar's dominating in this match. And now Lesnar, oh my god. Here we go again. That's 10. Number 10. Brock Lesnar taking a part of Big Show like we never seen before. Lesnar, 11. Still got him. Suplex City, 12. And now Big Show go for it. Number 13. Lucky, unlucky number 13 for Big Show. Big Show suffering 13 German suplex, well, 13 suplexes in general. Because Brock Lesnar did 12 Germans and one bed in the belly. Now Lesnar up top again. <gasps> Diving elbow drop to the back of Big Show. Directly in the spine. And now Lesnar. Lesnar calling for something here. Now Lesnar. Lesnar. Oh my, look at the power. Lesnar. F5 by the world champion. On to the world's largest athlete. F5 on the 440 plus pounder of Big Show. Shoots the half. Cover, hooks the leg. Brock Lesnar, the beast, has been unleashed here tonight. The beast has defeated the giant here on SmackDown in Coasson, Massachusetts. As, oh my, look at The Rock. The Rock, the number one contender out here. Motioning that he might win the title and Unforgiven in that steel cage. Hope you guys enjoyed tonight's show. Main event will be uploaded tomorrow. Hit the like button below. Subscribe for more. I'm sorry for that mishap at the beginning of the show. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at Boy123Gym. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.